like and subscribe right now. Or else this will be in your bed tonight. My parents would go out of their way to justify any mistake they made and make it seem as if they were right, no matter what the situation was. What is a seemingly harmless parenting mistake that will majorly duck up a child later in life? Not congratulating your child when they achieve something. A friend of mine never got any praise from his parents growing up. Always felt that he wasn't good enough. Show the child that their hard work doesn't go unnoticed. Not creating a safe space for your kids to tell their secrets and make mistakes. When I was younger, I excitedly confided in my mom about my first boyfriend. But instead of calmly talking me through this, she immediately brought my dad in the conversation and they both yelled at me and forced me to break up with him. Not hugging your kid, or telling them you love them. My parents are very kind and always made sure me and my siblings had everything we needed, however they were not affectionate people. We never heard them saying stuff like I love you or I'm proud of you or got hugged as kids. Today as an adult, it took me forever to show people I like them, and not feel embarrassed about it. I still can't say I love you to anyone without getting anxious. Well realistically, it'd be a helicopter parent. You always want to look out for your kid right, make sure they're not doing things they're supposed to do, walk in without knocking. It ruins the relationship with a kid because even though you have a sense of privacy, the kid doesn't and will always be paranoid of anyone entering their room without warning, it ruins a kid. Would my mom let me do this, is she okay with it? I found that when my parents teased me about stuff I was clearly uncomfortable with it made me tell them less later in life. I have a good relationship with my parents but I don't tell them lots about my life because it's easier if they don't know tease about it. Same for me. It was usually mild stuff like oh he has a crush on a girl or something like that. But I hated the attention and it made me uncomfortable. Later in my 20s when I met my wife she couldn't understand why I was so secretive. I'm pretty sure it's from that. I just stopped telling people things and still don't tell my parents everything that's going on in my life. I love them of course and have a great relationship with my parents, but yay I'm pretty sure the teasing messed me up. Never saying sorry to your kids. My mom only just recently started telling me sorry when she gets worked up. It's built up such a resentment for her over the years, and I also have trouble saying sorry myself because of it. Tell your kids sorry, especially if you overreact to something they did. I'm sort of glad that my mom isn't the only one who acts like this. She's actually working on that issue, since me and my siblings are older now and can call her out on it without many consequences. It just sucks because she only started working on it once I left for college. I wish she had told me sorry once when I was younger. Treating your young child as a friend you're venting to. It's extremely traumatic to be your parents' diary. For me, my mom started when I was a kid and it was first, her ranting about my father. Thing is, I had to live with him every other weekend, and I knew how bad he was. But the most memorable time of my mother doing this was when I was just going into high school. She married her now ex-husband, had a kid with him, fell down the stairs and broke her back. When her marriage was beginning to fall apart, she would yell at me for hours about all the terrible things he did to her. Saying he raped her, keeps her awake at night purposefully, super controlling where he would come home after checking in at work, before going to where his area of work was, worked as a utility service man, to check up on her. She would tell me over and over that she was trapped, yet she refused to do anything about it. Scariest time was when she punched a photo of us all hanging on the val, Elle and I had to not only bandage her bleeding hand, but pick up the glass off the floor and clean it all up before anyone else got home. Luckily my baby bro was at preschool at the time. It's basically emotionally dumping on your kids, things that they shouldn't be dealing with, and sometimes expecting them to deal with your problems. Not following through with your promises. If you told your child you were buying ice cream tomorrow, in the hopes that they'd forget and the next day when they ask, you tell them no. They'll see you as unreliable. Ice cream is just the first thing that came to my mind, I'm sure someone else can explain better what I'm trying to say here without sounding so ridiculous. 
Mine is an extreme case but my mom left me when I was around three and started a new family shortly after. My entire childhood was filled with I'll do X, Y, Z and she never would. She was most famous for I'll pick you up tomorrow or I'll be there in X minutes and just never show. She did this on my fifth birthday. I remember it so vividly. My dad got me up before dark. He got me all dressed, did my hair and took cute pictures with a little mermaid doll she had brought by a few days earlier. I was so excited. Then I went and sat on the front steps as the sun was coming up. I sat there all day long. I didn't want to move because I didn't want to miss her coming down the long driveway. Finally my dad's girlfriend told me it was nap time at 2 p.m. I said I couldn't take a nap because mom might come while I'm sleeping. The way she told me honey, I'm sorry but I don't think she's coming today. Just broke me. I still went and sat back on those steps. She never came. I still trust no one. I'll never forget that day. I worry I'll never be right after years of her doing things like that. It was like a moment ingrained in my head as when my heart broke and was never the same. Always do your best to do what you say for your kids. I feel like most of these responses fall under seemingly harmful. A seemingly harmless mistake is rewarding your child with something when they do something they already enjoy. Take, for example, reading. If a child just enjoys reading, let the child read without giving any reward. Once you start rewarding the child for that act, their intrinsic motivation gets replaced. It's called the over-justification effect. Or worse, rewarding with candy or sweets. Not only does it make behaviors that should be intrinsically rewarding behaviors extrinsically rewarded, it develops an unhealthy relationship with sugar, tying the idea of pleasure and value to sweetness. Once kids with that connection get old enough to buy their own sugar they retain the connection and can simply reward themselves constantly, increasing the likelihood of developing disordered eating patterns. In a different vein of thought, making finances a taboo subject. Financial illiteracy can be devastating once centering adulthood. Want to keep your children from making your own money mistakes? Don't be too proud to teach them what those mistakes were. Edit, to clarify, I don't mean robbing your children of their innocence by putting the weight of your debt on them at an early age, but rather, teaching them how to properly budget their money as they earn it, how to build savings, what credit is and how to responsibly manage it, credit utilization, the danger of revolving balances, not using credit as an emergency fund, teach them about predatory interest rates and the true cost of a loan, and set realistic expectations for costs of living. On the same note, don't make your children feel like they're the source of all your financial woes. Talking about finances and complaining about finances are very different things. Don't smother your kids. My mom quit having her own life the moment my brother and I were born. She was an incredibly devoted and loving mother was very kind to us, but when we were born she stopped having friends, did not work, and was home every single day from when I was born to when I moved out in my early 20s. She was very easy to upset because she had no other source of self-esteem and any time I screwed up, and I screwed up a lot, it was as if I had levied a very personal attack against her. In the last five years or so before I left I don't think we had a single conversation that didn't drive her to tears and I promise I wasn't that bad. I constantly felt cornered and stressed, and fell into depression as a defense mechanism, and she took my resulting lack of performance very personally creating a very treacherous cycle that was only broken when I enlisted and finally got away. To this day I often feel like I'm a bad person who failed to live up to her love. Using your kids as props for jokes in public. My dad challenged me to a drinking contest in front of his friends when I was 16, I'm a tiny petite girl, and because I always wanted to impress him make him proud I agreed. He made me drink Jaeger bombs until I threw up and took a photo of my face in the bowl and texted it to all of his mates, they were also my work colleagues at the time. Oh and the first time he ever introduced me to alcohol at 14 years of age he made me do shots of Sambuca shot for shot with him, for some quality time with dad. Mum had to take me to the bathroom to be sick and put me to bed. The saddest part of this question is that my mom has done so many things that everyone is saying is bad, not hugging, 
praising, telling me to suck it up. So let me give one that I feel would have helped me out growing up. Do not be afraid to admit when you are wrong or when you make mistakes to your child. My parents would go out of their way to justify any mistake they made and make it seem as if they were right, no matter what the situation was. Gave me a pretty messed up view of right and wrong, as well as learning from mistakes, but was fixed by my grandma, it's a long story that I don't want to get into right now. Edit, I want to reiterate the importance of not only advice, but the consequences of not taking said advice. Example, my parents never congratulated me on good grades or doing the right thing. They would only say that's what you're supposed to do or you better keep it up and threaten me if I didn't live up to their expectations. So now, as an adult, I'm insanely suspicious and at the same time worried of people complimenting me or congratulating me for anything I do. Like and subscribe. For more r slash ask reddit videos.